Okay, so I'm back with another review. Now, the last time I did a review, it was the Maxoak 50,000 milliamp hour power bank, which was quite a neat small package, smallish, especially for 50,000 milliamp hours. That was brilliant, and I actually do use that amazingly. Uh, I'd actually do use it, it's really handy. So, the one before that was the Blue TTI or Blue T or I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry about that. Uh, that was a 400 watt hour solar power generator. And uh, that was some piece of kit. And if you missed that review, which was, uh, it was pretty good stuff, check it, um, is it up there, up there, whichever. Uh, a link to that video. Now this one has been sent to me by Power Oak once again. Now I'm I'm getting really impressed now. <laughs> if you haven't got lithiums or you haven't got enough lithium and you're limited with your battery power, these things are absolutely amazing. And here it is. This is the 500 watt hour AC50S. This is the brand new version of their previous AC50 model with a few little upgrades. The new Power Oak solar power generator for 500 watt hours, the AC50S. Comes with DC, AC outputs. You've got four USB sockets. I'll go into more depth with them in a second. You've got two 12 volt sockets there. You've got a 12 volt DC socket there, which is a bit like the, um, well, it's exactly the same as a cigarette lighter socket in your car or your van. And you've got two 240 volt, 300 watts power sockets there. Mains power sockets, absolutely fantastic. Also, on this, which is quite a key for most people. It's got a USB-C port, which the last one didn't have. Or the last, you know, one of these that I showed you didn't have. Didn't have the USB-C. And a few people mentioned that because a lot of things today, including the um, Apple Air, apparently that does charge up with USB-C and so does many other devices. Uh, so, um, including... Uh, on odds and sods that I've got as well so that is really really handy that is so right now on top which is also an addition from the last one I reviewed this has got wireless charging capabilities I think it's called Qi <laughs> I always say QI <laughs> um, but that's how it's spelled QI so if you've got a wireless charging device like um, a smartphone, uh, Jan's again, Jan has got a Samsung Galaxy S9 and we've got the S7 still uh, and they both charge by just sitting it on top of here, sitting your phone on top of there and it just starts charging them up as well. Absolutely fantastic. You've also got a nice carrying handle here, so let's put this down carefully here. Oops, I just pressed something there, I shouldn't have done, there we go. So just put that down there, and you see I've got these carry handles, you pull them up, look. And there you go. And the weight on this is not really that heavy for something, well it ain't that big even really, it's not very big at all. But I'll put the measurements underneath here, and I'll also put the, uh, the weight of the product up there. <laughs> um, and you can see, it's a compact device, and it does so much. Now if you turn it round, you will see that I've got the cable plugged in. That is coming from the fold-up solar panel, which incidentally is a nice big black cloud now <laughs> covering the sun. Of course, it's bound to happen, isn't it? Now, if you're wondering what this is, this is a light. Yeah? So if you press this once, yeah, you just get a simple, straightforward light. You can even see it in the daylight, so it's quite... It's quite a good light, quite a very good light. Press it again, it goes a bit dimmer. Press it again, you get like a SOS flashing. I don't know if you can tell on this uh, this picture or not. Probably best to show you at night time, really. 
but there you go and you press it again and it turns off so as I said this is an adapter cable that comes in this box with a few more bits and bobs including by the way I must point this out because this is absolutely fantastic three years warranty you don't often get that do you usually get a year so that's that's pretty damn good as well but yeah so you get this cable it connects up to your typical MC4 solar panel cable which allows it to plug into this to charge the thing up it charges up, I think it's um, I think it's 120 watts maximum input from a solar panel I think uh, and that's what that panel is we'll look at that in a moment um, now obviously you've got choices you can either charge through the solar or you can charge through cigarette lighter or you can charge through actual mains plug socket uh, now in my experience this is the best setup through the solar panel you get a lot more charge coming in than even through a main socket it's absolutely fantastic now, let me just show you quickly what the display looks like on this one it's uh, more a bit more it's, it's more or less the same as the last one that I showed you but they've updated it a little bit you got a bit of color on this so I'll just show you quickly okay hopefully you can see this can you see that the it's still in color this one actually got a color display color LED and you can see the watts coming in is actually uh, and it goes off I press the power button again so you can see again it's varying at the minute from the solar panel because of like I say the Sun keeps coming beyond the clouds and come back out and so at the minute that looks pretty low earlier on it was coming down it got 80 odd watts and I know if the clouds are totally gone you got a really nice bright Sun you got yourself more or less 120 watts with this official power oak solar panel and uh, so you go, you've got your typical thing again you press DC to activate the DC sockets and press the AC in for a few seconds as well and you see the light come on there and you've got the AC sockets so the sockets here we go so let's just show you the sockets so there you go that's your typical DC out sockets there which you can power say a 12 volt TV for instance things like that so there's your typical uh, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter type socket and then down here you can see you've got that's your USB-C there look and there's your 5 volts USB sockets and these are actually the top ones are actually 3 amp on this uh, the previous one was 2.1 amps okay so let's have a look at what you get with the actual device so there's your warranty information in that little pack there then you get this box inside the main box I'll show you in a minute with the other cable that we have got that came in this as well I've took it out to connect up the solar but I'll show you that in a second so let's see what else we've got so we've got ourselves a charging cable and that is for your 12 volt so if you want to plug this into your vehicle as you're driving along or or if you've got a lot of motorhome like us you can just plug it into the wall anyway and when you stopped and you can charge it from that if you wish here's the USB-C cable so you can actually use that to plug into smartphones at USB-C and straight into that and that should be quite quick charging as it is and then of course don't forget if you have got the wireless charging option you're always better to go for that anyway so uh, go for that uh, what else we've got here we've got, uh, oh that just wrapped around the other cables I think just a little bit of that let's have a look at this so this here ah yeah so all we've got now is the blue T power adapter so you can plug it into the, the main socket and in the middle bit there you should find is simply the rest of it that plugs into that so there's your free pin plug because we're in the UK so uh, so there you go, so you've got all the options, all the options covered here. It charges three different ways. And like I say, with experience, or well, my experience is, you are better off using the solar panel. Now the solar panel, like I said to you before, is the official Power Oak fold away solar panel. Um, now, I've seen other reviews of this and other um, 
smaller versions of this where they use solar panels and people are using different makes of solar panels there's one particular video I found on YouTube I'm, I'm sorry I haven't got the link <laughs> should have got the link really but I've got the link somewhere uh, this guy actually tried a number of different solar panels and a lot of them even though they said there were 200 odd watts of solar they weren't bringing in even 120 which this can do um, so I found with this one you actually do get just under 120 watts that's in my experience so far which I haven't had it that long so you know and we are in the winter so let's gonna now show you the uh, now show you that I'm gonna now show you the solar panel so there it is on the floor next to the uh, power generator the AC 50 s walk around this way because if I walk around the front I block the Sun and um, you actually you can hear the fan go down a little bit in speed when I block the Sun because at the minute it's getting quite a bit of Sun at the minute so not full well, it is sort of full um, it's not too bad so I've hooked it up as you've seen MC4 connectors just plug straight into the adapter which plugs into the back there um, it don't need a separate solar controller it's got one inside the AC50S as you can see this is the real clever idea simple but clever some manufacturers might not do that where you can pull out those legs so it tilts it upwards that's really good so right okay so we come around here as you can see the Sun's beaming down on them now we're getting close to being full now so when I show you the reading now, it's showing you you can see that or not. It's not very good to see with the light, but it's actually showing 72 watts roughly at the minute coming in. That's actually going down. Uh, I think it's because it's basically getting towards the finish. Um, it does do that. It did that with the last uh, the blue tea product that I showed you. As it gets towards the finish, it's it don't allow the full lot of energy coming in so uh, yeah it's going down again look and yet the Sun is still the same 61 60 58 it's going down quite a bit so in a minute you might can you hear the fan you might actually hear the fan go off in a second it might actually be completely charged in a minute so uh, we'll see so there we go anyway it's uh, simple enough very simple to operate oh, in fact there you go the, the fans just stopped so don't forget that's a 120 watt solar panel and that's how you charge it how simple is that and as you can see it also has loops on the end it's actually free and uh, I've just put that there for now just to show you that you can actually hang it up as well so you don't have to have it on the ground you can actually have it hanging up at the side of your vehicle and picking up all that lovely solar however right now We've had that right ang <laughs> wrong angle actually. It's, well, it is actually coming round, but uh, obviously you'd hang it where you're getting the full sun. But uh, it's another way of grabbing the solar. And also, when you think about it, if you was wild camping, you don't really want to put that out on the ground for someone to steal it. <laughs> so if you do have it hanging off your van, it's uh, a bit better, isn't it, if you was doing that. So. Uh, so yeah, that's a nice little touch to put them loops on the top. Very nice indeed. So there you have it. That is the Power Oak AC50S, the very latest edition of their uh, range of power generators. Absolutely fantastic, it really is. Um, yeah, brilliant. 500 watt hours. And if you missed the last one, I'll put it up, uh, well, I'll put it in the description below uh, a link uh, to the last one that I reviewed and that's equally very good as well but this this is the business you got extra sockets there for like you got one for the um, USB-C like I've said you got ramped up uh, three amps now on the five two of the five volt USB sockets so that's uh, better than the previous one and uh, yeah you got the, oh yeah you got the uh, don't forget the wireless charger on the top and the light on the back very very good indeed and don't forget as well we've got the folding solar panel which I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description below 
Okay, so there is actually some uh, offer going on in the US at the minute on Amazon for the old version, uh, which is the AC50. Uh, it don't it don't apply to the blue one. It's a, two other different colours. But if you want to check that out, uh, that's what I was told at the time of the email I got a couple of weeks ago. So hopefully the offer's still there for you. And that's on the old one. That's on the AC50. Now as for the AC50S, which is what we've been looking at today, I've got discount codes which will give you money off on Amazon UK, Amazon US and Amazon in Germany. I, I don't think I've got a discount code for the, the folding solar panel. If I do get one I'll put it in the video description below along with the others. Um, and that is about it. So uh, I really can't praise this thing enough. It's absolutely fantastic. And what I think is a bit better than the previous model for me is the ability to charge really fast with that solar panel but you, ca you can actually do that with the other model as well the solar panel but it's not just that there's the other bits and bobs as well like the wireless charging on the top of the device that's really really cool feature the absolute must-have today anyway is USB-C I think to have USB-C on it as well because a lot of things now are using USB-C and I think that's really good so that's on that as well so anyway that's it i'm going to leave you with that another little review done and uh there's another one coming up shortly uh with charlie so <laughs> uh yes charlie's doing a review so uh, watch out for that one it's going to be a bit of fun so uh so that's it uh don't forget give us a like uh, or dislike if you want and uh subscribe and check out our patreon page and uh i'll see you again soon Ta-da.